Hello, it's Phil at digitaldjtips.com and today I'd like to show you these, the V-Moda Crossfade LP2 headphones. Now these are what I'd call DJ inspired rather than straight DJ headphones. If you buy these, they're going to be the only pair of headphones that you have, I would guess. You're going to use them everywhere. And I quite like that idea. I quite like having things which have got multiple uses. We like monitor speakers that double up as computer speakers with lots of controls so you can switch all your inputs without having to get around the back and, you know, I always call it doubled over at the back of your gear. Why do it? Speakers and stuff that double up as everything in your life is great. We like DJ controllers because they have a mixer and decks and sound card all included so that you just plug it in and get on with it. We like stuff that's small, we like stuff that's got multiple uses and we like stuff where design plays a big part in it. And these kind of tick all those boxes. So I like these straight away, straight out the box. Talking of the box, it's a really nice hard case that you get with them. So they're plainly a stylish item. They're metal, they have a leather and mesh headband cover. These bits are really soft and really nice and this bolt-on cover is replaceable so you get a pair of these with them. Very little V-Mode actual styling on these so you can paint your own logo on those metal plates I just showed you for instance. You can make them your own. That's one difference between these and the Crossfade LPs. The LPs are, are more branded than these are. So cable wise you get two cables with them and again they're very unusual. It's probably hard to see on the video, but they are coated in material, in fabric rather than in plastic, which is also the same on these parts. So again, stylish and different. That first cable I showed you there is just a straight cable. The second cable has got the usual i I can look I'm looking for it here. It's got the usual iPhone adapter on it there, which just allows you to remote control your iPhone. It's exactly the same as the one on the headphones that you get in the box. And of course, you have to plug it in the right way around or else the remote control won't work and it'll be down there somewhere. So here's how it plugs in. There's no turn to make it stay in, but it's pretty hard. But if you are one of the kind of, kind of people who thinks that that's gonna pull out because you're thrashing around when you're listening to it, worth bearing that in mind. The other thing to bear in mind is that neither of these cables is coiled. If you're a DJ who's used to having a coiled cable to keep it from getting in your way, you might not like that so much. And although they do say that you can get a coiled cable, I couldn't find one on their website. The sound quality from these was awesome. It was, the bass was deep, very deep, but punchy as well, it was a lot of definition, it wasn't boomy at all. Um, when listening to house music, it had that, it had that overall thump to it. The high end is very, comfortable it's kind of tails off so although you can hear all the high end right up to the very highs it's not harsh and it's not overpowering and i really i thought the sound quality was excellent you can they're very comfortable so you can see yourself listening uh for a long long time with these on did i put them on the right way no i didn't it's the right way not that you can tell uh, they're very very comfortable and they also isolate well this leather and padding is very soft so it isolates nicely and that means that you get less background noise when you're DJing. Overall, I think these are really, really nice headphones. You're gonna love them or hate them. You're gonna look at that style and say, you know, beautiful, what I've been looking for, or boring. That's up to you. That's the whole thing with headphones. You know, we review an awful lot of headphones here. Most of them look and feel exactly the same, but there are these headphones where there's a lot of design and a lot of thought gone into them. They tend to cost more, but you're buying something which you're gonna use all the time and hopefully for a long time. One thing about these actually, which I really liked, is that if you break them, uh, you can send them in and they'll send you a discount for 50% um, off your next pair. So if you break, you know, all right, they're well made, but if you stamp on them or drive over them with a tractor, uh, you can't really expect them to be replaced under guarantee, but they say, look, headphones get broken, people break them, we'll give you 50% off. I thought that was really nice. The headband itself, if you find that they're too uh, loose or too tight, you can bend this headband, but they do recommend that you wait 24 hours before doing that uh, because it will kind of naturally adapt to your head. So there you have it, the uh, V-Moda Crossfade LP2 headphones. And if you'd like to see a full written version of this review, you can do so at digitaldjtips.com slash LP2. Thanks for watching.